A tropical depression or tropical storm Melissa will probably form by the time this video is being posted for October 21st, 2025. Good morning, I'm meteorologist Pew, and in the Caribbean right now, the National Hurricane Center has issued that there is a 100% chance of something forming within the next 48 hours. So assuming we're going to have tropical storm Melissa, this is going to be a concern because in the Caribbean Sea in this moment it has really high sea surface temperatures, still around 85 degrees Fahrenheit. And if we look at bulk shear from the surface to the 500 millibar level, there are some places where there is about 15 knots, which is not that ideal for hurricane formation. And so so regardless if we get a tropical storm or hurricane forming, we're going to have a lot of westerly to southwesterly shear, essentially meaning that the updrafts are going to be tilted towards the north and northeast. So we're going to see a lot of convection being pushed into the north and northeast, so places like the Dominican Republic are probably going to see a lot of precipitation. Now even though we're confident that a tropical storm is going to form, models are in disagreement of where this path is going to take. Some models such as the GFS are really optimistic that something's going to form really fast and it's going to form into a hurricane and then travel north immediately into places like the Dominican Republic. But then you have other models such as the Ural making tropical storm Melissa just sit in the Caribbean Sea for a lot longer, being a lot more conservative, and then eventually trending to the north into places like Cuba. And the reason for this uncertainty is because this tropical storm is going to be sitting in between two high pressures, one in the Gulf and one in the Atlantic. And with high pressures, that's clockwise flow. But because they're sitting in between two of them, they're having opposite flows. And then if we go higher up in latitude in the States right now, we have this massive trough that's being pursued to the east. So it kind of depends on which pressure system is going to influence it the most. If the high pressure in the Atlantic starts influencing it more and it's going to push it more north more quickly or with this high pressure in the gulf moving to the east it's pulling in northwesterly flow which is what would make tropical storms stay in the caribbean sea a little bit longer so for these next few days we're just going to have to see what's going to happen okay now onto the states the great lakes region first we do have a marginal risk for severe weather where there's a five percent chance of seeing an isolated wind event up to 60 miles per hour and so with that upper level trough that we just mentioned it's pulling in a lot of cool air from the north and so we're also going to have a surface low pressure somewhere around the great lakes region and the thing about the great lakes especially around this season is that water cools and heats a lot slower than land so right now the water is going to be a lot warmer than the land and because we have a lot of cold air going into the Great Lakes region where it's a lot more warm it's kind of acting like a little bit of a cold front where that warm air is going to be rising up as the cold air pushes down and so areas of east of Lake Michigan and east of Lake Erie you're going to have a lot of scattered to isolated storms today and things are going to start popping up around 2 p.m. eastern time and they're going to pretty much last throughout the day and even into the night as well and so for the Great Lakes but also for the Midwest with this low pressure bringing a lot of cool air from the north increasing that temperature gradient thus increasing the pressure gradient and thus increasing the surface winds we're going to see a lot of wind speed up to 15 to 25 miles per hour today and again unfortunately for texas we do have another fire risk where we still have that surface high pressure just sitting here and with high pressures being in clockwise flow but also sinking air we're going to have a lot of dry air sinking down into this area with relative humidities going below 30 percent 